Have you ever been cruising on a long cross-country flight, say at 10,000 feet, and you're like, huh, I wonder when I need to begin my descent? Well, if you have a GTN 650, it'll calculate it for you. In this video, I will walk you through how to successfully set up and run through the VNAV utility on the Garmin GTN 650. Let's quit wasting time with this intro and dive right in. So here we are. I've got the GTN 650 pulled up, so let's dive into how to use the VNAV utility. Now, every good VNAV begins with a good flight plan, so let's get that started. So we'll go to the home button, we'll go to flight plan, and we need to enter our starting waypoint, which will be Bolivar in this scenario. For this trip, let's fly to Jefferson City, so I will enter K Jeff. And here we go. You can see we've got the magenta line showing that we are going from Bolivar to Jeff. Now when I fly VNAV and I want it to descend me down a pattern altitude, I like to enter in a long track waypoint of minus three nautical miles or so, just so it gets us down to pattern altitude a little bit before the airport so then we're not too crowded. Now you'll see we need an altitude constraint that we need to enter for the pattern altitude. I don't know what pattern altitude is, so let's click on the waypoint and then we can go to waypoint info. And then the information screen will tell us the field elevation. So our field elevation is 549 feet. So let's go ahead and fly a pattern of 1600 feet. So I can enter in our 1600 foot altitude constraint and hit save. So now we are navigating from Mike 17 to KJF minus three to KJF. And if we want to preview that, we can come here and you can see I've got this magenta line and then our KGF minus three is this little square indicated at the 1600 foot altitude pre-select. Okay, so now we are underway. You can see that our ground speed is climbing. We're cruising at 3,500 feet. So let's go ahead and configure our VNAV. You can access the VNAV screen by one of two ways. You can either access it from the flight plan, menu, VNAV, or you can come here to the main menu go to Utilities in VNAV. Now, if you have an XI series navigator, what I like to do is use the page shortcut feature to make the VNAV like my third or fourth option on the screen. However, with a old 750, you can't do that. But what you can do is if you really wanna use this a lot, you can set one of these user fields as a shortcut to the VNAV screen. So now all we need to do, since we have our flight plan configured correctly, we're navigating in route, we just need to hit the VNAV enabled button. Now it's going to default to a three degree flight path angle, which there's nothing wrong with that. However, I'd like to descend at about 500 feet per minute. So this is just a little fast for my taste. But what you can do is you can override this and say I wanna descend as a function of airspeed instead of angle and just change this to 500 foot per minute. Now you can see that we have this TOD counter that is starting to count down, telling us that we are at our top of descent in about 14 minutes and 38 seconds. Now this, will probably help you visualize it if we move to the map. And you can see that now we have this TOD mark here, which marks when we need to begin our descent. And then we will be descending along this track. And then we will be at 1600 feet by our KJF minus three waypoint. So what I'm gonna do now is instead of making us wait for 15 minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and speed this video up and then we will talk when we are one mile away from our TOD vertical track. So now we have this audible warning saying vertical track and it says TOD in one minute. And you can see that now we are 52 seconds away from our the point in which we need to begin our descent. So what we have now is we have our time to bottom of descent since we have crossed over the TOD waypoint. It says our vertical speed required is minus 500 feet per minute and our vertical deviation is 10 feet. So we're only 10 feet off of where the GPS wants us to be. Now at this point, this is when you would either hit the VNAV button on your coupled GFC 500 or 600 autopilot and have it automatically start descending you at the, at the coupled glide path, or you would hand fly it and you could just change your pitch and your power to get a 500 foot per minute descent rate. Now, as you deviate from that, the vertical deviation field will change and our vertical speed required field will change. So say if we start descending at 400 feet per minute, you'll see this number start to creep up, which will tell us that we need to descend faster to hit 1600 feet by that waypoint. Now, since the Garmin simulator assumes that it's coupled, you can see back at the map, you can see our GSL altitude descending at a rate of 500 feet per minute. And what we'll do is I'll speed this video up 
once again until we get closer to the airport itself. So back at our default nav screen, you can see that we are now a minute and 10 seconds away from bottom of descent. We're only 20 feet off of course, and we need a vertical speed of 480 foot per minute to reach our desired altitude by that VOD. You can see now we've got a warning that it's in one minute. And then what the, what's going to happen is if you have that couple GPS, it's going to automatically level you out at that 1600 foot altitude until you take over. Um, however, if you don't, then you would probably be at the discretion of ATC by now where they would have assigned you an altitude or left downwind, whatever it may be, where you could just hand fly the airplane down to the ground. Once we've hit our bottom of descent, you can see that the VNAV goes back to being blank. So now that we're back on the map, you can see that we are continuing to descend and we're flying towards the airport. At this point in time, you would hand fly and land on whichever runway ATC would instruct you to. So you can see we have safely made it to Jefferson City, and congratulations, you've successfully accomplished your first VNAV descent. If you have any questions on shooting a VNAV coupled with your GPS or not, let me know in the, in the comments below. I'll do my best to get back to you. I right, thank you for watching this video till the end. You guys fly safe, and we'll see you in the next one.